All right, I know it's been a while. A few reasons for it. Uh, we had a crazy freeze here in Houston. We didn't have anything happen to our house, but a lot of our friends and family had pipes burst. We were without power for like four days. We weren't, luckily, but a lot of our friends and family were. Uh, so yeah, it was a little crazy for the Houston area. Then we had taxes, new taxes. I didn't even know I had to pay to the county and federal stuff anyway. So yeah, it's been very busy at the shop and then I've had some knee problems in the last week. So we're back. Hopefully, hopefully we can post a little more regularly. First off, I just want to say thanks to all of our wonderful customers. You guys have been awesome supporting us. Um, we're doing our best to try to get you taken care of, get bikes for you. It's still crazy time in the bike industry. Uh, Marin bikes are sold out for 21. 22 is not looking real good either. So we put in our order for 22 and we'll see what happens. So hopefully we'll get bikes, Marin. Please keep sending us bikes because we want to sell them and we have people waiting for them. But no, thank you so much to those who have supported us, who have bought bikes from us, who have traveled far distances to get them. Uh, you guys are awesome, thank you. All right, today I've been actually wanting to film this video for a little bit. We're gonna talk about a cool kid's bike that came out uh, for 21. Uh, my son got it at the end of Octo October, was after our trip to Utah. We finally got it. It didn't come in time for our trip to Utah. And we filmed the video, but never quite got around to finishing and editing it. But the bike we're talking about today is the Mini San Quentin. Uh, so this is the San Quentin 20. So if you got a little guy that's age, I don't know, five to eight or nine, depending on how tall they are. So my middle child, Tanner, he's been riding this for the last, eh, since October. Well, we didn't actually give it to him until Christmas. So December-ish. I'm gonna sit down because my knee is hurting. So we filmed this video back in October um, before Tanner knew he was actually getting the bike. And uh, so we'll go to that video and then wrap it up in a little bit. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Texas. Uh, beautiful morning. I'm actually gonna go on a ride today on the, uh, the Wolf Ridge, but I'm gonna take my second oldest middle child uh, Tanner I'm gonna take him on a ride because a new bike finally arrived and so he has no clue that he's gonna ride it today he actually doesn't know he's going on a ride in a few minutes so I'm gonna go tell him uh, this is his old bike which has been the Marin Hidden Canyon which has been fun uh, but no suspension in the front we just upgraded uh, you may or may not have seen the video if not I'm gonna show it soon of how I upgraded the rear drivetrain to a derailleur with a clutch I'm gonna go tell him we're gonna go on a ride and I'm gonna tell him which bike he is actually gonna be riding we'll see what he he may not have a reaction he may actually prefer his old bike but we'll see how would you like to go on a bike ride today yay I got your bike out oh I love to you want to go on a bike ride uh -huh. yeah what do you think of your bike? Your bike's dirty okay. from Utah still, huh? Oh, so yeah, Tanner, you can go on this bike or come here. Let me show you this thing over here. Oh my gosh, I want this bike much. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Why do you like that one? I love how it has the blue and the green. You like yellow. that? So this is the San Quentin 20, uh, Tanner. This one was supposed to come before our trip, but it ended up getting delayed. So uh, that's why we didn't have it on our trip. But look, you know, you've been talking because Garrett's bike has uh, the, has that, huh? The, oh, the suspension it fork. It goes all the way up to eight. Yeah, it's eight gears. Good job. You saw that. It's eight gears. We're going to talk about it, but uh -huh. we're going to talk about it on the trail. You want to ride this one or you want to ride your old bike? Oh, definitely this one. This one's so much more cool. You want to ride that one? Uh -huh. All right. All right. Okay, sure. let's get it. All right, we had to make a uh, quick pit stop at the shop. The seat post on the most Marin bikes, but on his bike, is a little bit too long. We're off to the Timberlane Trail. All right, got your gloves on? Thank Can't you. wait to ride? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got your bike ready to go. You like these colors? Kind of matches your backpack a little bit. You got the green. Oh, the green. There, that green, green and blue, green and blue. <laughs> Yee. You're doing great, dude. Whoa, wee. Nice, good line. 
fine. Oh, what happened here? Think we can move it? Well, let's see how heavy this sucker is. All right, you help me. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Bugs. Now throw it off in my ah. Oh, beetles. Cool. Beetles and cockroaches. Oh, we made it. Yeah, we good job. It. Yeah, I'm going to go up top. You stay down. You want to do the jumps a little bit? I don't think you're struggling. This one's got spikes in it. Yeah, good job. All right, you want to go down this one? Sure, nobody's here. <sighs> One-handed, not advised. <laughs> All right, Tim, man, so you got your Skittles. Uh, so let's talk about your uh, your San Quentin over here. Compared to the Hidden Canyon, what do you think? The Hidden Canyon is the bike that you're riding right now. The Hidden Canyon has uh, really short tires like this. Okay, so skinnier tires? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are pretty fat. These are uh, 20 by 2.6, so I only have 2.35s on mine, so you're actually thicker than my tires. That's pretty cool, Pretty huh? big. Gives you traction in the sand. Mm -hmm. All right, what so you like this? the tires. What else? I like the suspension. You like the suspension? Like oh, the yeah. Tires. So yours doesn't have suspension, huh? Mm -hmm. So it, you feel all the bumps and things. Did you feel it moving, or was it pretty stiff? I didn't feel it moving at all. You can't feel it moving at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. To get it to the price point, obviously they couldn't put an air fork on here. That just wouldn't be able to, it'd be a thousand bucks if they were gonna do that. So if you live in a really rocky area, you may get some travel out of this suspension fork. Um, but traditionally, they don't move a whole lot for kids with their weight. Anything else you wanna say about it? Uh, mm, I'm good. Huh? I don't want your candy. No, I haven't eaten my candy yet. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll eat it in a sec. Let's see how many San Quintins you got. You have three San Quintins. You got the three adult ones, the one, two, and the three. We talked about one of them in a previous video. You have the San Quentin 24, which we talked about in another video. And now you have the San Quentin 20. So you're five to eight years old. Tanner, you're seven. I know. So he fits good on it. We did have to cut the seat down a little bit because it is still too long in this tube. But uh, yeah, you could ride on it probably for, I'd say even five to nine, depending on the height of your kid. Uh, as far as the specs, you have eight speeds in the back. Uh, the biggest one being a 30, probably 34. Uh, no clutch, you have the Altus, but you do have a one by, which is cool. Um, so we'll, we're probably gonna upgrade this to what we did on your other bike. And we're gonna put a clutch on here, maybe go to a nine speed. So he has a little bit more range in the back. Cause when we were in Utah last week, you went up some pretty steep stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. And it was tough to get enough uh, momentum to pedal up those big hills around here you probably don't need it but if we travel anywhere with some elevation we're definitely going to want it one thing that's cool that tanner uh, you didn't have on your hidden canyon we just had mechanical disc brakes but this one comes standard with hydraulic brakes so you get better stopping power easier to adjust which is awesome these these are definitely easier to adjust. On this right here, I used to have a little thing that says, don't tread on me. It's like a... Don't tread on me? Mm -hmm. Oh don't yeah, tread. your stem cap. Yeah, I want to change it out in this bike. You want to put it on this one? Mm -hmm. All right, I think we can work something out on that. Maybe we should have a don't tread on me bike. Don't tread on me mm -hmm. bike? It's all yellow. <laughs> all yellow? Has. Don't tread on me. <laughs> nice weather today, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, very overcast here in uh, Southeast Texas today. But uh, yeah, it's pretty. Humidity is not too bad. It's kind of cool. A little bit of a breeze. So good day for biking. We're having a great day. Um, you're going to eat that now? Okay. All right. We're going to hang out and then we'll head back. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end today's video. Thanks for watching. If you are in Houston or willing to travel and you're interested in a San Quentin 20, uh, give us a ring, send us a text, get on our waiting list and you can ride with your little guy. So we don't have any in stock right now, so um, I don't have any to sell you, but hopefully in the future we will have some. So if you want to get on our list, contact us, let us know. 
Uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button for us. It'll help the channel, help our shop so we can do more videos like this. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you on the next video, hopefully with some upgrades. Well, maybe on the next video, but future video, we'll do some upgrades on this bike. Talk to you soon. Bye.